Here is a Honda Sonata. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and open up the driver's side door. Now right over there at the bottom left, you'll find the primary hood release lever. Pull it lightly. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the Honda emblem there, right on that left edge. Put one finger in there and then lift up the hood with the other hand. Now you're going to need to have a small flathead screwdriver, one that looks like this, that's just wide enough that it fits in right over there. And you need a friend to hold onto the hood when you're doing this, or if you don't have a friend available, just get a rod like this, something that can support the hood when you take the one strut off. Because when you take one strut off, the hood doesn't stay in place by itself, just on support of the other one. You need the rod. So get the screwdriver and now let's pry this clip out slowly. Be careful, this spring is under tension, so you don't want it to just fly off and don't get your finger stuck under there. S just do it the way I'm showing and gently get it out. You should be able to pull the strut out from there. Repeat the process on the bottom side. Now this side is a little bit tricky because the angle at which you access the screwdriver is kind of awkward, but again, the same process. Just be patient, it can take a few seconds. And there you go, it comes right out. Now let's just get the strut out from there and it's out. Now a quick way to test out the strut is like try compressing it with just your hands. If you're able to compress it with your hands, that means it's a bad strut and if you're not able to, that means it's a good strut. Now when you put the new strut back in, just make sure the clips, the spring clips over there are in the position, pulled out position. Otherwise it would not go on. Start with the bottom side and the thick end goes on the bottom there. Yeah, get it in. And now let's just get the top end on, the hood side. Yeah, get that on. Now you can just get the screwdriver and press those clips back in their position. Again, just press it from the side. Be careful, don't get your finger stuck over there. Yeah, and it's in position. One, repeat the process for the bottom side. And there you go. And it's in position. Now let's just repeat the process for the driver's side. It's the exact same process. I'm just doing this to show you that it is in fact the same process and it's just as easy. So there you have it. See how easy the process was? Hope you found the video helpful.